Batman is a billionaire who has frequently adopted his sidekicks, and his current Robin is actually his biological son, Damian Wayne, who is a son he didn't even know existed, as Damian Wayne was conceived when Bruce Wayne was drugged and raped by Talia al Ghul. And although Talia was actually trying to get pregnant, it does actually make you wonder just how many one night stands has he had that have resulted in children. He is a gorgeous playboy billionaire after all, so I'm sure he gets around. I mean, even if it's an act, he's still going to have to follow through on that act. So how many kids does Batman actually have? Well, this video is going to go over that. And first we'll look at Batman's biological children, then go over the adopted children. And of course, we all know about his son Damian Wayne, so let's go over him last and instead start with Batman's daughter. Afanasia. Afanasia is Batman's daughter in the comic book series Injustice, and hopefully will one day make it into the video game. Now she is possibly Damian Wayne's twin sister, it's not made clear if they are twins or not, but one thing that is clear is that she was stillborn and came out of the womb dead. And so her mother, Talia al Ghul, gave her to Ra's al Ghul, who put her in the Lazarus pit and resurrected the baby. Now this baby was kept secret from everyone, not even Damian Wayne knew he had a sister until she busted him out of prison many years later. And the Lazarus Pit seems to have left her a little bit broken and very violent, although some of that probably comes from being raised in the League of Assassins in secret. And in the end, she actually kills someone that Rachel Ghoul didn't want killed and is kicked out of the League of Assassins. So naturally, she decides to go and kill her father, Batman. And in the end, they sort of kind of talk it out rather than fight it out, and instead of killing Batman, Fanacea instead goes to prison to serve time for all of her crimes, and really to win the love of her father, which when you think about it is very messed up. And that is where she is now, but let's face it, the Bat family never spend that long in prison when they end up there, so she'll be out soon and working as Batman's sidekick. Terry McGuinness. Now this one is the most complicated, and you may actually be a little confused with it, because it is made very clear in the show Batman Beyond, that Terry McGuinness's father is named Warren McGuinness, and it's actually his death that directly leads to Terry becoming Batman. However, after the Batman Beyond show had been cancelled, the writers decided to make an ending for it in a Justice League Unlimited episode called Epilogue. And this is set in the future of the Batman Beyond universe, and it shows Terry getting a DNA test and discovering that his genetic father is actually Bruce Wayne. Now it's a bit of a complicated story, but I'll shorten it as much as possible. Basically, it turns out the Batman was growing old, and so Amanda Waller worried what would happen to the world without a Batman in it, so she decided to make her own. She had Bruce Wayne's DNA collected, and then used Cadmus Nanotech to inject Warren McGuinness and rewrite his reproductive material to an exact duplicate of Bruce Wayne's. So basically, she switched Warren McGuinness's sperm for Batman's sperm. So any babies Warren has are actually Batman's babies, at least genetically. So she made herself a baby Batman, but in order to get him on the full-on vigilante path, his parents needed to be killed. But on the night of the deed in question, her assassin got cold feet, and then she spoke to Amanda Waller, and they decided that breaking Batman's rule of no killing in order to uphold Batman's rules of no killing was a complete contradiction. I mean, you can't follow Batman's principles and then break them at the same time. It just makes no sense. So they call it all off, scrap the Batman project altogether, and Terry grows up as a normal child. Until his father died anyway, at least. And then he reacted just like Bruce Wayne did, and then became Batman. So Bruce Wayne is Terry's father, at least in terms of DNA. And Bruce Wayne actually knew nothing about it, like he knew nothing about any of his children. He's actually quite a neglectful father in that respect. Although to be fair, when all your kids are being made by these dark government agencies and leagues of assassin, and it's all done in secret, well, it's quite hard to be in their lives, I guess. And although Terry was quite upset to find this out, and to be fair, it would be a shock for anyone. I mean, like I said, it's complicated. But Terry did eventually get over it and accepted that Batman was his father, or at least one of his fathers. He'd never forget the man who raised him, of course. And Terry also has a younger brother, Matt McGuinness, who is, of course, also Bruce Wayne's genetic son. And he does actually eventually grow up to be the new Robin and possibly one day will be Batman depending on how long Terry wears the cape and cow for anyway. Helena Wayne. This one is a daughter from an alternate universe where Bruce Wayne and Selina Kyle have a daughter. Their stories are more or less the same as they are in the proper world. He's Batman and she was Catwoman and they kind of retire to marry and have kids together. 
until Selena Kyle was blackmailed into doing criminal work as Catwoman again. But she plans to bring her blackmailer to justice until he ends up getting her killed. So Helena decides to go and get a little revenge herself, but in the end hunts the man down and gives him justice, and then carries on as the heroine Huntress. And then after the events of Crisis on Infinite Earths, she was erased from the multiverse, and then later reimagined as Helena Bertinelli, a different character with a completely different origin, who still ends up becoming Huntress, but she is in no way related to Bruce Wayne. Although there is another Helena who is related to him, Helena Kyle. This is the daughter of Batman and Catwoman from the TV series Birds of Prey. And in this universe, Helena is a metahuman with cat-like abilities, meaning enhanced strength, senses, and agility. And Catwoman never told Batman about her and raised her in secret, a very common theme with his kids, until Catwoman was killed by one of the Joker's assassins. And so Helena Carl was taken in by Barbara Gordon, who trained her in all the Bat family ways of fighting and detectiving. And so she grew up to become Huntress, who was basically a female Batman for the city of Gotham. And the show only lasted for one season, so that's pretty much all we know about her at the moment. Talent. 50 or so years into the future, and Batman is dead. Most of the world's population has been killed, in no small part thanks to the machinations of Ra's al Ghul, and now Ra's is putting the world back together in his image. And he decides to start with Gotham City, and uses Batman's rejected Batsuit designs to create a small army of Batmen called the Brotherhood of the Bat. And they're basically still the League of Assassins, they just have nicer outfits. And their job is to systematically kill all of the criminals and prepare Gotham City to be run by Ra's al Ghul. Which means they're going to end up killing a lot of people who aren't criminals, but he just wants gone. And Ra's plan works until he is confronted by Talent, the son of Batman, who was raised, once again, in secret by Talit al Ghul, and has only just been told his father was Batman, and he is attempting to follow in his footsteps. So he joins the Brotherhood of the Bat in order to bring it down from within, and one thing leads to another, and eventually he fights Ra's al Ghul one on one. And then they kind of call a truce when they learn that they're actually grandfather and grandson. And so Ra's al Ghul leaves, and Talent continues on as Batman in the future Gotham, taking back control and making the city safe. This next one is very difficult to pronounce, so apologies if I'm getting it wrong. Ibn al Zufash. In the Elseworlds story, Batman, Son of the Demon, Talia and Batman have a child, until Talia pretends to have a miscarriage and then later gives the baby boy to an orphanage so that he can grow up having a normal life away from Ra's al Ghul and Batman. And this child is named Ibn al Zufesh, which literally means Son of Bat. And eventually he grows up in the Kingdom Come storyline, and then when he learns of his lineage, he sides with Batman against Ra's al Ghul. And then after bringing Ra's al Ghul down, he inherits his grandfather's empire, but at the same time adopting Batman's philosophies, making him the best of both worlds, as he has all of Ra's al Ghul's power, but Batman's morality. And he also eventually marries Nightstar, who is the daughter of Dick Grayson and Starfire. Damian Wayne. Now, there are a lot of Batman's kids in different universes named Damian Wayne. There is the main DC Universe one, whose mother is Talia al Ghul, the woman who drugged and raped Batman in order to conceive him, and then raised Damien in the League of Assassins in secret with Ra's al Ghul, his grandfather, essentially becoming Damien's surrogate father, until they eventually tell Batman that he has a son, although they only do it in order to manipulate Batman. But instead, he gets Damien to turn away from Ra's al Ghul in the League of Assassins and become his new Robin. And in a lot of the different universes, his story is more or less the same. Though in some cases, such as the Injustice universe, Damien eventually turns against Batman and embraces Ra's al Ghul's more lethal view on controlling Gotham, and the world as a whole. Basically, in some stories he's evil, but in most of them he's just an anti-hero. But his origin story is more or less the same. Although in Batman the Brave and the Bold, Talia is not his mother. In one episode, Batman retires and marries Catwoman, and they have and raise a child they name Damien, who doesn't actually want to be Batman, but after he watches his parents die in front of him, he becomes the new Robin, and eventually inherits the Bat mantle from Dick Grayson. And later still, he actually has a son who becomes the next Robin, meaning he is Batman's grandchild. And in Young Justice Season 3, we see a baby in Talia al Ghul's arms, who is clearly Damien Wayne, and so most likely Batman's son as well. And Damien also has quite a few clones, the most notable of course being Heretic, 
So these could be considered as Batman's biological children as well, depending on how you look at it. And in another episode of Batman the Brave and the Bold, Batmite is using his powers to mess with the universe and makes Batman both a wife and a kid. Although it comes across that the kid's just been made out of nothing and then when Batmite gets bored, he just erases him from existence. So I don't think this kid is actually real. He only lasted about 30 seconds. So I did think it was worth mentioning, but I'm not actually going to count it towards Batman's children. And that is all of Batman's blood children. But as for adopted children, he has got quite a few of those as well. One is Cassandra Kane, who is the daughter of Lady Shiva and the hero orphan, and sometimes is the hero Batgirl. Then there is of course Dick Grayson, the first Robin and later Nightwing. But he also legally adopted Jason Todd, who became the second Robin, only to be killed by the Joker and return as the villain and then anti-hero Red Hood. And personally I'd say the Red Hood is one of the more compelling members of the Bat family, which is saying something. And he has also legally adopted Tim Drake. Now, it's a bit different with Dick Grayson and Jason Todd, as their parents were dead when he took them in. But with Tim Drake, he was actually Robin while his father was still alive. So when he first became Robin, he wasn't adopted by Batman, and that was actually never the plan. It was only after Tim Drake's father passed, and he moved into the Wayne Mansion properly, that Bruce Wayne gave him the option of being adopted by him, which Tim Drake eventually accepted, and became another Robin to also be Batman's son. So to sum all that up, Batman has eight biological children. Three of them are daughters, Helena Kyle, Helena Wayne, and Afanasia. And he has five sons, Terry McGuinness, Matt McGuinness, Damian Wayne, Talent, and Ibu Al-Zufash. And four adopted children, Cassandra Kane, Dick Grayson, Jason Todd, and Tim Drake. Meaning Batman has eight or 12 children, depending on how you look at it. Now, as I said, he is a playboy billionaire, even if it's just an act. So when you look at it in that way, he actually hasn't had that many illegitimate children. I mean, I'm sure a lot of billionaires have a lot of illegitimate children. But if there are any other children that you know of that Batman has had in different continuities, then please let us know in the comments, as I'd like this list to be as complete as possible. And of course, let us know which one of his children is your personal favourite. For me, it's a fantasia, as I love her story and I love that Batman has a daughter. It's just a different dynamic to their relationship than with his other kids, as they are mainly boys. So I like that they're switching it up. And finally, I'd just like to quickly remind everyone that we have some merchandise available on our store, and to thank all of you who have donated to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.